Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Safian FM. Today we are looking at Wilfred Nyonto, an Italian 18 year old sitting right now with Leeds, but apparently transfer rumors, if they're any true, possibly Everton, possibly Manchester United, who knows? But we're going to be taking a look at him today. Uh, and I've got to say, he looks pretty nice. His physicals are fantastic. Look at all that green. Uh, strength is not great. So that, I mean, as a striker, if you're trying to push people away and get to the goal, not the best. I mean, he's, it's not bad. It's 12. So uh, stamina of 13. Eh, a lot of things in the in this set of numbers can grow. But as a striker, dribbling of 16 is fantastic. Finishing of 13 and first touch of 13 are good. I would like to see them grow, though, to be a solid world beater as a striker. Uh, but passing of 11 as the AMC and AMR and AML side. Eh, technique of 15 is fantastic. So he's definitely got some great numbers. But you... You really want to see some of these grow, at least I would in my books. Milestone-wise, you can see the Super League champions for Zurich, first international cap and goal against Germany at age 18 with Italy, so both in the same game. Uh, but overall, I mean, he's looking pretty nice. He's got a contract to 2027, so another five years. But we're looking 10 years out. Let's see if he ever does make that Everton or Manchester United move. It is the end of the 2033 season, 10 years on. He is 29 years old, and he's actually contracted to RB Leipzig. You could see his stats. I mean, throughout the 10 years, his stats have been fantastic. He has picked things up, finishing a 15. First touch of 14 is great. Passing of 12 is not too bad, but, I mean, technique of 16. His physicals are amazing. Stamina and strength, still not fantastic. However, you know, they've increased by one. So he's got a lot of great stats. Uh, did not move to Manchester United, did not move to Everton in this one. However, you can see, uh, and it did take him a little while to warm up to Germany, but 24 plus six appearances in the Bundesliga, 18 goals and two assists. Fantastic. 7-2-2 right there. So I'm going to guess he had some amazing games and not so amazing games. 7-2-2 is not bad, but for 18 goals and 24 appearances plus six, it seems a little low to me. But DFB Pokal, he's lighting things up 788. So, I mean, he, overall, he's looking fantastic. 102 million to 305 million, making 170K per week as a regular starter. So, he's looking pretty good. Career stats, as you can see, he started out with Inter in Italy. He got some appearances. No idea how he did, but moved his way to Leeds United in the Premier League. Five and a half million, six. Eight six sevens, not too bad. I mean, not the greatest, but 59 million pound move in 26-27 to RB Leipzig is pretty amazing for, I mean, he's got potential through the roof. He's got a negative nine potential. So he's got, I mean, he can grow to be absolutely amazing in this game. Uh, even on the low side is probably about 160 to 170. So if he gets to somewhere near that potential, he can definitely be good in pretty much any team, you know, a Manchester City, a Liverpool, Real Madrid, Barcelona, whatever. But he's got to actually make it to that point, which means game time, which means, you know, good coaching and tutoring and, you know, everything with that. But he gets to RB Leipzig, he gets to Germany. He still has a couple of seasons that aren't the greatest, but then finally breaks through with the seven. Uh, 29 30 and then 30 31 with 7 2 3 dips back down the season after but this season back up to 7 2 2 so i mean he looks not too bad it'll be interesting to see how the rest of his career goes and when he retires and how he ends up but for now he's not too bad milestone wise not too bad you can see a lot of seasonal best 11s as usual bought by uh, rb leipzig going up dfb pakal winners super cup winners in 2031 DFB Pokal winners in 33 again. You can see where is it? 20, 30, 31. German Bundesliga top goal scorer, third place in 31. Uh, hopefully, as we see from year 10 to their retirement, about five or six years later, they often pick up another trophy or two personally. So we'll see if that ever changes to, from third place to actual winner. But overall, I mean, he's got some trophies in the cabinet. Not a whole lot, but I mean, still more than I've got. Injuries. Wow. Very few. Minors and slights, most you've got two moderates in there, so overall he doesn't seem to be injury prone whatsoever. 
and he is being used tactically throughout. I mean, internationally as an AMR is one, AML is three, a striker in two, two goals, 715 average rating internationally wise. For club though, 36 as striker, 21 goals, three assists, 712. I mean, again, 21 goals in 36 appearances is pretty nice. 712 seems to be a little low, but on the midfield right, six uh, club appearances, one goal, 753. Midfield left, two appearances, one goal, 820. So, I mean, doing very well, increasing that versatility with some midfield roles. Uh, it'd be nice to see if, as we get to his retirement date, if he's picked up the MLMR side a little bit more. But overall, he's looking like a very great player, just has not gotten, uh, I don't again, maybe he's gotten some bad games along with some amazing games. Uh, some average ratings are good, but not near what I would expect them to be. But we've got another, what, five, six years left. So let's check out when he retires and how he ends up. Well, 20 and 39, it seems to be when he retires. At 2040, he's an unemployed head of youth development. So uh, it looks like at the end of the season, his, I mean, it expires in 18 days. He is with Eintracht Frankfurt. He moved from Leipzig to Frankfurt. So 35 years of age, though, he's got 108 caps. So he's done fairly well for the Italian national team. Not too bad. But you can see his stats are all dwindling. I mean, technique of 16, composure of 18, some 17s and 16s still in there, but acceleration and pace have dropped dramatically. Only 70K to 200K per week. He is wanted by a couple of teams, but apparently he either never made the move or something happened at the end of the season. He said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to retire. But overall, you can see Bundesliga 24 plus 7. So he still was kind of starting quite a bit. Nine goals, two assists, uh, definitely down from the mark. But 6.85 average rating, eh, not too shabby, I guess. But, I mean, again, he, he could move on to the MLS or something like that. But, I mean, stamina and strength are not there. The younger kids are just going to roll right over him. Milestone-wise, you can see DFB Pokal winners, Bundesliga champions with RB Leipzig. So he finally got to that point. But in 2035-36, German Bundesliga top goal scorer runner-up never made the tops of the list, but still. He went from third to second and then stopped. But Bundesliga champions again from Leipzig, Club World Cup winners, Super Cup winners. It was time to move on. Uh, brought by Frankfurt for eight and a half million. And then, yeah, seems to be where he ends it. You can see I probably should have done this first, but he made one appearance for Leipzig in 37-38, moved on for 11 million now to Frankfurt 690 and 685. I mean, he's getting some appearances in there, so not too bad, uh, even for Frankfurt. But, you know, it is time. Tactically, still a striker, no more international appearances. But again, as usual, these kids are always ones to scout. So definitely put them in your books and see how he grows in your save. But a negative nine is probably going to be pretty good. So let's just hope that he, you know, he gets a lot of game time. He sees the pitch a lot, gets good coaching, gets a lot of good tutelage uh, from, uh, you know, from the senior players and all that. But that's the life and times of, in my safe, at least for Wilfred Niato, uh, Italian, now 35 years old. Looking pretty good. But I am Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blockchain and saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.